today to talk about we can, what we can do to help workers like these and community volunteers from across Niagara. When I say that our region has been shaken by recent events involving mental health issues, I think most residents know what I'm talking about. And since that news broke, we've had residents after resident call our office and say the same thing. Our government must do more to ensure that everyone who needs access to mental health supports can get it. This means preventive care, this means supports for families, friends, loved ones who are providing care for those struggling. And this means, when necessary, crisis services. The motion I'll be tabling tomorrow is asking the government to provide this funding on a yearly basis. The funding will ensure that trained staff members in St. Catharines, Niagara Falls, and Welland, around the clock, who are already, already always ready to help. Our hope is if we do this, we can provide more preventive care that ensures residents do not feel their only resource is to go to a hospital in a crisis. It's a place for resources and talk with professionals to get the help they need it when they need it. Costing this out, we found that this will cost around $2.5 million per year. That funding will open, a, open the St. Catharines and Niagara Falls sites 24 hours a day. The staff does an incredible job right here now, but it stands that it needs the services they offer are not available when people are alone at night. This funding will also allow us to open up a new site in Welland. Our hope is that the sites across Niagara will serve all Niagara residents and the 12 municipalities. This proposal will also include transportation. That means that residents in Fort Erie and Niagara on the Lake who do not have access to public transportation at night will be able to get the services they need and to get into an office and get the help. This is not a substitute for the services already offered. CMHA, Pastones, Community Health Clinics, Distress Center, Coast, and many, many more provide incredible, incredible services to those in need. And we should thank the many, many employees that we have here in Niagara that do an incredible job every single day. But they can only stretch their dollars so far. We can, and we must do more. This motion takes a modest amount of the provincial budget. This ask would be less than 0 .002 of the provincial budget, but it would go a long way to help Niagara. So in Canada, we know that one in five individuals will experience a mental health concern. The other four are family, friends, loved ones, caregivers who are impacted by the mental health of their loved one. So mental health affects us all, but it's also very individualized. It may involve the diagnosis of a disorder, it may be situational stress or discomfort from a job or relationship or the concerns for someone else who's experiencing a mental health or addictions concern. Some require medical intervention, medications, or the expertise of psychiatry, but others can benefit from the opportunity to just connect with someone, to explore options, and engage in problem solving. Often, a single session can be enough for a mental health concern. We also know that mental health and addiction concerns do not only appear during traditional business hours. In Niagara, we do have 24-7 current resources in our mental health and addictions access line, which can provide information and referral and warm transfers to mental health and addiction services. We also have crisis lines in Coast, Pathstone, and Distress Center. We also have resources that provide free, no appointment necessary access to mental health counseling. Um, during business hours, our urgent support at CMHA, we also have walk-in counseling at three different locations, three different times a week, and Pastone has started a uh, here and now walk-in clinic for children and youth and their families. However, the current resources have their limitations in hours of operation and staffing to meet the needs of our community. Mental health and addictions agencies in Niagara are constantly actively reviewing how to do things better with what we currently have and advocate to fill gaps and increase resources. Niagara has compassionate, skilled, effective frontline workers and volunteers across the region. 
As stigma reduces, more individuals are reaching out for help, which puts a strain on those existing resources. We have the capability and the knowledge available, but we lack the capacity to respond. We need accessible, timely, community-based resources that provide a safe alternative to hospital for concerns that do not require hospital level of care. We need to provide opportunities for early intervention to prevent crisis and prevent individuals from feeling that suicide is their only option to stop the pain. This is what the motion by MPP Wayne aims to achieve to make a real impact on suicide prevention and contribute to a mentally healthy community. So I thank you for coming and, and hearing our message.